Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a very exciting cultural video prepared for you all. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up for a Diwali prayer service. As I said, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up for a Mother Lakshmi Puja. Now this one is the more intricate version where you set up eight plates of parsads or offerings in front of her. And these eight plates basically represent her eight forms because she has eight different forms. And this is the way that some people do it on Diwali and some people do it on a more simpler scale just by putting her statue or her picture down and making simpler offerings to her. And of course, you guys know I like to bring awareness to lots of small businesses, especially Indo-Caribbean businesses. And in today's video, I just want to thank Leah's Fashion and Religious House for sponsoring all of the items that you see in today's video. And if you guys are seeing this beautiful pink kurta that I got to wear, this was also sponsored by them. I just want to thank Ashmani as well as her mom, Crystal, for sending me all of these items, helping me along the way, and just being so kind and so willing to put a video like this together. Now, if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from Leah's Fashion and Religious House, I'm gonna have their phone number right here. I'm also gonna have their address right here. And I'll also have those things in the description box down below, as well as their Instagram, social media, and other forms of contact. So I'm actually gonna read you guys a little something that they put together that they wanted to wish my viewers, and they wanted to let any future customers know. So Leah's Fashion and Religious House would like to wish everyone a very happy Diwali. May Mother Lakshmi bless every home with her choicest blessings. Leah's Fashion will be open for 24 hours, November 3rd through 4th for all of your Diwali needs. We carry a variety of sweets, all puja items, murtis, fresh bamboo, tulsi, and banana plants for all of your religious needs. You will find a wide range of decorations for all occasions, pujas, weddings, birthdays, holidays, funerals, etc. And at an affordable price. We at Leah's Fashion strive to provide top-notch customer service and we look forward to serving you all this Diwali. And lastly, I want to leave a little disclaimer that I always leave on these types of videos. Remember, this is just my way of doing things, my family's way of doing things, and the way that I was taught by my priest or my pundit. If you guys have a different way or you like to do it a different way or you want to consult with your own priest, then by all means do so. This video just serves as a blank canvas if you do not know how to do things and you do not have access to someone to help you. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm very excited to share this with you guys. Together, Om Siddhi Bhutti Before I show you guys the actual setup, I just want to show you all of the different items that was sponsored by Leah's Fashion. These are the items that you would need to buy or obtain if you were going to do this puja setup. So over here I have 10 small taris and the reason why I have 10 is because I have 8 to put all of the offerings in and then I have one for the RT where you put the dia in and then I have one where you're going to put all of the items for your hawan. The next couple of items I have here includes two lotas or kalsas. And these two lotas will be used to hold water and one will be used to hold milk that will be needed throughout the prayer service. And I also have a dia here. This one is a metal dia and it's a really nice design one. It has a handle so you can use it when you're offering arti or you're passing the fire around the different gods and goddesses. There's also a spoon here that you can use when you are offering ghee or other items into the holy fire or the hawan kund. And you can also use it for other purposes throughout the puja. And I also have my kalsa set here. Now this one is a pink khalsa in honor of Diwali. They have lots of hand-painted ones of different colors, so you can take your pick when you go visit Leah's Fashion. And lastly, we have one big tari, and this one is going to be used to hold all of the different items that we will need to use during our puja. This is just to keep everything organized, so this way when you're doing your puja, you have everything in one place. And here are some of the other items. We have a red shawl or a red cloth that can be used throughout the puja to, as an offering. We also have an orange flag with the Ganesh on it. Usually when you do Mother Lakshmi Puja, you also do Lord Ganesh Puja and he gets an orange flag. We also have some orange and pink cloth or shawls, so this way those can be offered as well. There's also a pink sari. You're going to need this pink sari so you can wrap around Mother Lakshmi before you do the puja and you guys are going to see later on how we wrap that around her. And in addition to the dia that I showed you guys earlier, you're going to need eight separate dias 
for the offerings for Mother Lakshmi. Usually when you give these offerings, you'll light a dia, or some people also do a piece of camphor for each piece of parsa. And being that it is Diwali, they have a wide array of different dias of different designs, different shapes and sizes. So this is another set with some wicks to put inside. And also they have sent a box of incense or agarbati, and they also sent a box of sambrani if your family burns sambrani. And in this box here, there is a Lakshmi Puja pack. So as you guys can see, there's a Lakshmi flag on the outside and I'm gonna open it up and show you what is inside. So I pulled out the Lakshmi flag. As you guys can see, it is a pink flag and everything that you need for your puja is in this puja pack. So make sure you pick up one of these if you are gonna be doing your Diwali puja. In here, they have incense or agarbati, and of course they have the Lakshmi version. And they also have some dupe or some wood sticks. Now these are what are used to feed into the holy fire or the Hawan Kund. And they also have your Hawan Samagri. This is what you use when you're feeding the holy fire as well. And there's also a bottle of attar or perfume. And there's also a box of matches, a little packet of camphor, and an extra dia just in case you need it. And some of the other items includes elaichi or cardamom. A lot of people will use these in their offerings. There's also sindoor or sandalwood paste. And there's another little bag of wick. There's also a little bottle of rice here. This is also used for offerings. And there is some brown sugar in there because you usually need a little bit of sugar when you're doing your puja. And a little packet of haldi or turmeric or dai as well as a packet of cloves, and there's a little bag of chandan as well, as well as some supari. One really big tip that I have for all of you guys is when you're preparing things like this or when you're preparing for a puja or a prayer service, make sure you get all of your parsads with, or your sweets as well as all of your fruits like cut up and prepared and washed. So this way when you go to set up, everything is there at your disposal and ready to go. It just makes the process much easier. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare the parsad or the different plates of offerings for this Mother Lakshmi Puja. So in my little tari, those little taris that I showed you before, I'm gonna put two puris or suharis at the bottom, and then we're gonna be putting in some lapsi, also known as halwa, and we're also gonna go in with some sweet rice or kheer. And all of these recipes can be found step-by-step step on my channel. I'll have them all linked in the description box below this video. We're also gonna go in with a little ball of parsad. Now, when you're doing Mother Lakshmi Puja, a lot of people will offer eight different items, being that there's eight forms of Lakshmi, but you can put as much or as little as you want. Similarly to when you're doing Durga Puja, you would put nine items in her plate because she has nine different forms. We're also gonna go in with a para, and we're going in with a piece of star fruit that we cut, a piece of banana, as well as a grape, a piece of cantaloupe, and we're gonna finish it off with a neem leaf, or you can use a neem strand. Now that we've finished making the parsad and got all of our sarjam together, it is time to actually set up the baby or the puja place. So as you guys can see, Auntie Chitra is draping the sari or folding up the sari now. All you wanna do is use a back and forth motion and keep on folding it and pleating it in to itself. Pleated properly, you're gonna go ahead and taste a piece of string, a rubber band, or a piece of ribbon like we're using here, and you're going to tie the top. And the next thing that we're doing is we are going to put the sari on top of our baby. Being that this is more of a simplified version and just a tutorial that I'm giving you, we're not filling up the baby with dirt. But if you're doing this for a real puja at your home, you would wanna fill the baby up halfway with some dirt, and then you can even decorate it with colored rice or different designs on the outside. But remember, this sari is gonna cover it so you do not have to decorate it fully. But all you're gonna do once you get this sari on is you're gonna start to pleat it properly, mess around with it a little bit and let those folds come out very nice. So as you guys can see, I had the help of my auntie Chitra and she did a great job of pleating everything and making sure it looked nice and neat. And once you get to that stage, it is time to place Mother Lakshmi in the middle. So what I did in the back of the baby is I put a little wooden box that I had down so this way she can sit a little bit elevated. You can use anything that you wish to let her sit elevated or you can even put her flat, just depending on how big your Lakshmi Murti is. This is a beautiful Lakshmi Murti that was gotten from Leah's fashion and religious house. So make sure you guys check them out for different Murtis of different sizes and different gods and goddesses. So this is how we got it to sit on top of her. We went ahead and we put a nice flower mala around her or a string of flowers, you can use a fresh one if you want to. And then we put some fresh flowers around the base of her murti. The last thing we're gonna do, and this is optional, is we're gonna take that pink shawl that was provided by Leah's Fashion and Religious House, and we're going to drape it on top of her. This is just an added thing if you wanted to make it more decorative, but if you didn't wanna put it, you do not have to. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start to lay the offerings of Parsad all around her. So usually what's done is the eight plates or shares of Parsad are placed all around the front of her. Um, you can put them in any type of configuration that you want. I prefer to put them all the way around the baby, 
but if you wanted to stack them all up in the front area, you can do that as well. Whatever way you can make it fit, just depending on how big your baby is or how big your space is, you can go ahead and make it work that way. I also wanted to mention that as you guys can see, we have put a pink flower on each share of Parsad. You can use whatever type of flowers you want or that you prefer. But this is basically the end result. This is the way that the plate should be around her. And the next step is to put the Khalsa in the middle of the baby. So this is a hand-painted clay Khalsa that they sell at Leah's Fashion and Religious House. As you guys can see, I'm just filling it up with a little water. Now when you're doing the actual puja, your priest or your pundit will actually tell you to put different items in it. So usually you just want to start off with some water or you can start off with nothing. And then you can work your way from there when your priest comes. On top of that, you're going to put the little saucer or the plate that it comes with as well as a dia on the top. And then you set it right in the middle of the baby in front of Mother Lakshmi. And before I forget, we're also going to be putting on a sprig of mango leaves. And you need five mango leaves that are connected together to put into the top of the Khalsa. And the next thing I'm going to do is place my Ganesh Murti to the right hand side of the Khalsa. And then I'm going to be placing a Saraswati Murti on the left hand side of the Khalsa. The reason why I'm putting these two deities down is because they are highly associated with Mother Lakshmi and with Mother Lakshmi's Puja. And again, I'm just showing you guys these awesome Diyas that Leah's Fashion and Religious House sells. So all we're going to want to do now is place these all around the baby right next to each share or plate of Parsad. During your Puja or your prayers, your Pandit or your priest will ask you to light each of these Diyas. Or they might ask you to light a piece of camphor, just so this way there is a light associated with each one. And the last thing that I'm showing you here is a way to set up all of your sarjam or the different items you will need during the puja. So I went ahead and I took that big tari or that big gold plate and in it I laid all of the different diyas that they had given me. And what we did was we put some flowers all the way around. The reason being is so this way when you're doing your puja, not only do you have all of your sarjam or your items ready, but you also have your flowers, your loose flowers, so you can put down as offerings as well. So into this plate, into each dia, you would go ahead and empty the rice, the brown sugar, the chandan, the haldi or the dye, the elaichi or cardamom pods, the sindoor or sandalwood paste, as well as your supari, as well as your cloves. Now you can put them in whatever configuration you want, you can put them in whatever container you want, but honestly this is just the best way to do it because everything is laid out and at your fingertips during the puja. And the last thing that we're going to do is into another lota, we're going to be putting in some milk. When you do Mother Lakshmi puja or any other puja, usually you would throw dar of some sort, which is a liquid offering. So for Mother Lakshmi Puja, usually milk is offered as dar, and some people will use a different mixture of item. And then the other lota, we're going to keep some water in there because throughout your puja or prayer service, you will need these items. And this is how easy it is to set up for Mother Lakshmi Puja or puja to the eight forms of Mother Lakshmi. You can use different variations of these items depending on your own family's practices or what your priest or your pundit says. You can set it up a little bit differently. You can do it as per your own liking. So if you guys have made it to the end of the video, I just really want to thank you for watching along and learning something new as I put this video together. I love putting these videos together because they really teach the younger generation who might not know or even older people who might not know how to do these things and teach them how to do it by themselves. So this way you're not relying on other people to do it. With all of that said, again, if you are interested in visiting Leah's Fashion or if you're interested in calling them up to see if they have anything that you need, please go ahead and check in my description box down below. You'll see everything right there. All you do is click right below the video and a drop down menu will appear. And if you lovely people enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet so you can join the Matthews Guidance Cooking family and drop those comments down below. Let me know what your Diwali plans are. Let me know what you have going on and what I should be cooking up next for you guys. Once again, happy Diwali and may Mother Lakshmi bless you guys with eternal blessings. Bye everyone.